Hi everyone, I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making a lovely meat eater recipe. Braised pork belly with quail eggs. Look at that. Sticky succulent pork and flavorful eggs are covered with a red glossy sauce. It's super easy to make. Let's get right into it. I have got here a piece of skin on pork belly. Cut it into one inch thick strips. Then slice them into cubes. Fill a big pot with water. Add the pork belly. Bring it to a boil over medium heat. Please partially put on the lid. Otherwise, the water will overflow when it comes to a boil. Skim the scum using a sieve. This step is called blanching, a popular method to treat meat in Chinese cuisine. The purpose is to eliminate the foamy scum so you can get a clear glossy sauce at the end. Remove the pork from the pot and set it aside. I like to use a clay pot to do the braising because it has a high heat capacity. If you don't have one, use a Dutch oven or a slow cooker. Preheat the clay pot and add 2 teaspoons of oil and a quarter cup of sugar. Stir over medium low heat to caramelize it. This will take a few minutes. Using black cookware makes it a bit hard to view the color of the caramel. But don't worry, just wait for these foamy bubbles. That is the cue to add the blanched pork belly, along with 3 tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine to drop the temperature of the clay pot so you don't burn the sugar. Stir for a minute to evaporate the alcohol. Toss in some ginger slices and scallion stalks. Season it with 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, and one and a half tablespoon of Sichuan Dou Ban Jiang, which adds a unique fermented flavor to the dish. I'll link it in the description. Check it out if you want. However, Sichuan Dou Ban Jiang is a little spicy, so if you cannot handle spicy food, you can use soybean paste as a replacement. Pour in two and a half cup of water and half teaspoon of five spice powder to give the dish a nice complex aroma. This is what I'm using. I'll link it in the description. Keep stirring until everything is well mixed. The pork needs about one and a half hours of simmering to be tender. So let's move it to the back stove and let the time to do its job. Meanwhile, we're going to prepare the quail eggs. Just in case you ask, Yes, you can use chicken eggs in this recipe. Due to the size difference, you have to use four to five chicken eggs instead of two dozens of quail eggs. However, quail eggs are so much cuter and the size matches the pork pieces better. Oh, I see a few eggs are floating. Usually, that means they are old, but doesn't mean they are not safe to eat. You just have to crack them open to check the odor and decide. Alright, bring the eggs to a boil. They are so small, so you only need to cook them for 3 minutes. If using chicken eggs, you will have to boil them for 8 minutes. Okay, they are done cooking. Bring them to the sink and pour out the hot water. Rinse the saucepan and the eggs with cold water several times to cool down everything. Put on the lid and shake the eggs to crack their shells. This makes the peeling so much easier. Another reason I prefer quail eggs over chicken eggs is that I'm actually not a fan of hard boiled eggs because I don't like overcooked dry powdery yolks. But this is not a problem for quail eggs because they're so small, the long time simmering diffuses so much flavor, making them the perfect, savory, well-balanced treat. Add the eggs to the clay pot and continue to braise until the pork is tender. For long time simmering, you should always come back once in a while to check the liquid level to make sure it is not boiling too dry. If you need to add more water, add hot water. 
discard the scallions and the ginger slices because they are soggy now. The braising liquid is thin. Turn the heat to high and constantly stir to reduce the sauce so the flavor is concentrated. We want the sauce to condense down into a glossy glaze, making the pork belly nice and shiny. This is great to serve with white rice. Mmm, I love the smell of the Sichuan Dou Ban Jiang. It's so unique. The taste is well balanced between sweet, sour, and savory. The pork is braised to the mm. perfect doneness. I just love sticky, gelatinous, and melt-in-your-mouth tender pork. Although the quail eggs are hard-boiled, but it really doesn't matter at this point because they're just flavorful and delicious. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.